Hi guys, it's Taylor Fabus from Michigan 4-H. I am going to do a quick tutorial video for all of you on back numbers. I'm gonna definitely share a lot of things from the judge's perspective as having your back number highly visible is extremely important and it will improve your judge's mood throughout the entire day as well as just make their job a little bit easier. We're going to cover how your number should look in showmanship as well as English and Western classes. So follow along. All right, Mr. Patty here would love to tell us a quick tip about making your back numbers last longer. Okay, so what we have here is a very typical cardstock number that they give you at the show office. Um, but I forgot about my own tip. And so you can see as it's been used over the last two days, um, there's holes in it and it's kind of like the safety pin has ripped it a little. They can even rip off to the side, which it has right there if you can see that. Either way, I've totally messed up this number. In order to make the number last longer, before you even stick any pins in it, on the back side of it, just put a little piece of duct tape here where you know you're going to pin it. Um, or if you have like shipping or packaging tape, that works really well and it's even easier for the pin to get through, um, but it's not going to rip. So it will make this number last so much longer. So highly recommend putting a piece of duct tape on the back side doesn't affect it doesn't even matter what color the duct tape is because you'll never see it and you will have a number that's going to last you a whole lot longer you're welcome okay here we are with our friend mckenna and we are going to start out talking about the showmanship number or the number that you might put on your back for halter as well um, you can have all sorts of different clothing for this this is just a simple blazer one of my favorite looks but you can also have a very ornately designed um, jacket with rhinestones and crystals and designs. Those are gorgeous and some of our favorites. Sometimes they are more difficult to put a number on though because those crystals can get in your way. Um, but we're gonna use this blazer today. McKenna is going to put the number on while it's hanging on the hanger. Okay, McKenna can put her number on while it's hanging on the hanger and use these seams as a guide so that she stays nice and centered with her number. Go ahead, yep. So she is gonna line that zero up right with that middle seam, and then she'll know the number won't be crooked on her back. You can also, if you have someone to help you, you can put it on and have, on, have someone put it on while it's on your back to make sure that it stays nice and straight. And we always have to put them on and then double check that they still look appropriate, okay? So you'll throw that on and you'll notice that she put it right between her shoulder blades. I don't like seeing the butt numbers um, or even the small of your back. Put it right between your shoulder blades. That's a nice flat spot and it looks really good. Um, I don't prefer the magnets because they can slide and your number can um, become crooked. Maria, can I see you over here? I wanted to use Maria as an example of um, you can see here that the safety pin ripped off the edge, so it made her number a little bit crooked. So we're going to fix that before she shows, but I just wanted to um, remind you to put the safety pin in a little bit and then be careful bending over in your nice tight jacket or it will rip like this. Hopefully that's useful. We'll talk about English next. All right, guys, we have our friend McKenna here who is going to help us with how to put your number on on an English pad that has the square on it. All too often, I see exhibitors that use this sort of square pad and they still put their number on their back. If you wanna put your number on your back, then your pad should be fitted and shaped like your saddle, which is totally fine, especially if you're showing a fine breed like an Arabian, it's more traditional to have the number on the back of your jacket, okay? But if you're gonna put it on your saddle pad, we're gonna cover that today. So first things first, let's talk about equipment needed, and I will show you what's in my hand here. So we have a variety of different safety pin sizes. I say go big or go home. So get these big bad boys. They are not that expensive and they're fairly easy to find at a dollar store or Walmart or what have you. Um, and they're gonna do the best job. Um, and then here, McKenna has her back number. She does have it laminated, which some judges say they don't like that because it definitely can shine against the sun and make it difficult to read. But I'm gonna say for longevity purposes, the lamination definitely helps. So McKenna uses this number over and over and over so she's able to keep it good and secure. And it's not getting like wet and tore up. 
Now I will say one thing McKenna did here just to show us kind of like what not to do is she pinned through hole punched holes. And why I don't like that is because it can move around and you would be surprised like on a showmanship jacket, all of a sudden you'll pin it on perfectly straight, but then it can just slide down and all of a sudden your number is crooked on your back. So instead, go ahead and fix that one McKenna and show them. So she's basically put the number down, not completely at the bottom corner edge. She's left like a half inch inch on that square there, but definitely it is out of the way of her saddle or her legs or anything like that. So you can see there, it's no longer through the hole punched holes and it's just a lot more secure. Okay, so we like that. And then she's gonna go ahead and put the number on the other side. We will scooch our lovely gelding model over. Thank you, William. There's a variety of different kinds of saddle pads, but this one's pretty darn common. I do not like the numbers that go in like the plastic pockets. Those typically yellow and um, are just really difficult to see through. So take those off. Even if you have like Velcro strips here, take off the plastic pouches and actually pin it here. Another thing, this is more just a personal preference. I do not like the number magnets um, for a jacket or anything because I find that similar to like a hole punched holes, the magnets will slide and you will have a crooked number. So I say get the big safety pins and you'll be set. So there's English for you. All right, guys, we are back with our friend McKenna and Billy, and they are gonna show us about putting a number on for Western. So she already has her pad. She has an oversized pad. A lot of times with a big saddle like this, um, there wouldn't be enough room on your pad to put a number. So um, that's why we like these oversized pads. You can even cut some of this excess white around if you wanted to, but the point is that this is very visible to the judge. You can see that McKenna has lined her number, the edge of her number up with the edge of the saddle. That's how we like to see it rather than the corner here, but it doesn't matter too, too much. Again, she didn't use those holes that were provided. And another way that I see it put on sometimes is the safety pin is through the number and then it's back hooked out here. We you, do you know what I'm talking about? So it's put on horizontal. And I don't like that because again, it just allows too much wiggle room for the number to end up being crooked. Okay, so I don't wanna see it like this ideally. Okay, I like it like that. That you're gonna have it stay on the longest, the straightest, and the most secure. Thanks, McKenna.